not good. And here's the worst thing. If the majority of pages on your site are considered duplicate by the search engines, that could be like stepping in quicksand. This could trigger a slow, painful death to your sites, where the only thing that's left in the search engine index is your homepage, and the only time it would ever come up in a search is when someone searched for your exact URL. And how often is that going to happen? That's pain, my friend. Now, here's the aspirin. Let's try to think like a computer, or more precisely, see your site the way a computer might see your site. So, this is code that makes up a typical web page. Ugh, that's just not fun to look at. And I'll make you a promise. For the rest of this video, and in fact, to pull off what I'm going to show you, you're not going to have to look at hardly any code at all. Okay? So, here's a pretty typical web page. In fact, it's the homepage of A Squared Armory. Now, see these elements around the outside of the page? Here's the header, the left-hand navigation, the footer, and here's a third column on the far right-hand side of the page. It makes a pretty cool little frame, and there's also a nice little container for all of the products that I have to sell right here in the middle. For the sake of simplicity, let's call this area in the middle my content container, and the elements that make up the frame of my home page, which are my page header, left-hand navigation, footer, and right-hand column, let's call those my site template. Why are we calling this a site template? Well, because if we go to a page on my site that contains a product for sale like this one, and you know, that's me in the armor, by the way, you can see that the header, the navigation, the footer, and the right-hand column are the same as they were on the home page. And in fact, they're the same on every single page. So this is a site template, right? The only thing that's different on this product page versus my home page is what's in the content container. Yahtzee! Do you get it? No? Well, let me explain. Remember when we said that we're going to try to look at this page like a computer? Okay, well before we do that, let's quickly consider how a human looks at this page. There's this viewing concept called visual acuity. Specifically, the concept of preferential looking tells us that humans can quickly disregard repeating patterns because we can spot them so rapidly, which allows us to quickly identify changes that happen to something that we see, right? So bottom line, we can easily spot differences in things, like web pages, like our site template, shown here, outlined in red. So when we look at a web page, we quickly get comfortable with the way that the page is laid out. So when we click into the site looking for information, if we as web designers have done our job correctly, the change in the layout from page to page is so conspicuous that we immediately know where to look. See? Ta-da! By keeping the template the same on every page, I can easily direct the visitor's attention to the product. Now, that's not why or how computers judge duplicate content, but I believe it's why duplicate content is usually an accidental error. See, let me explain. We as humans have a tendency to ignore the site template when we've clicked off the home page. Computers don't. They always read the entire page, always. And what does that mean? Computers do take into account the content of your template and the content of your content container when they judge how similar pages are on your site. So, what if your site template looked like this and one of your internal product pages look like this. The human is going to disregard the site template and fixate on the content container. The computer, on the other hand, is going to see it all. And as far as the computer is concerned, the only difference between this page and this page is about 10 words and a picture. And I'll bet you get it by now. And I'll bet that of the thousands of people that are seeing this video, a majority of them would like to hit pause, freak out, and then pull up their website on the internets, which are tubes, you see. Don't go anywhere just yet. All we did here is show you what might be wrong. Now, let's show you how to fix it. So our first takeaway is, computers see the entire page. Our second takeaway is, computers count every word on a single page, no matter if it's part of your template or not, in their calculation of sameness. 
And third, one of the reasons that web designers and internet business people commit this mistake so often is because, just like a visitor, we usually don't even consider the template as part of our page content. We just think it's part of our site's navigation or the brand differentiators to our business or part of our look and feel, yada, yada, yada. Well, no one ever said a computer was smart and it certainly doesn't pay any attention to user behavior. That's our job. But since computers calculate how our site should rank or even whether or not it should live, we've got to feed the machine the right food. So let's start the buffet. Here's your first action item. We need to identify your site template and establish a word count for it. And here's what you do. Your site template consists of the page elements that appear on most every page of your site. So we've identified your template. Now I want you to count all the words that you can select with your mouse that are part of that template. For example, A2 Armory's template consists of a little less than 220 words. How did I figure this out? I went to my homepage, hit Select All, which is Control A, and then copied it, which is Control C, and then opened up Microsoft Word and pasted it into a new document. Then I got rid of all of the content from my content container and I used the MS Word word count function. Now, because there are people on the internets that like to play gotcha, whenever me or anyone else from Stompernet puts out a video, let me just head you off at the pass. Yes, you can see far more words in my template than 220. But computers can't, and I'm going to show you how, why, and when you should do what I do. Just not yet. Now back to our exercise. Once you've counted the number of words in your template, write that number down. This number is now the target number of words that you want to shoot for whenever you write content in your site's content container. See here? I've got more words in my content container than I have in my template. Not a lot more, but more than enough for the computers, that is, the search engines, to judge this page different enough from the rest of my pages to count as worthy of an indexing. Doing this reduces sameness, and by reducing sameness, you dramatically reduce the potential for having a page flagged as duplicate content. Step one complete. Step two is easy for a change, right? All you have to do for step two is make sure that you do not have duplicate title tags for any of your site's pages. Now I know earlier that I said you wouldn't have to look at much HTML code for your web page, and I meant that. This is the only place that you might have to look at code because your title tags are in your page head tags, which is part of your HTML code. It's not too terrible of a thing, but it's way necessary. Now, here's an important safety tip. You see